Hey guys, I'm Sam. Thanks to a capture of a very special Eevee, Chloe finally became a Pokemon trainer after about 50 episodes of her debut. It certainly took her long enough, but whatever. With Ash completing his roster of 6 Pokemon, and Go just keeps on adding new Pokemon to his decks, it is very interesting to see what Chloe is going to catch in future. But what if I tell you that thanks to some piece of evidence, merch, and other details we might know her future Pokemon. In this video, I will discuss how Chloe can and will probably catch a Galarian Ponyta alongside other information that has been revealed to us. Let's get started. Now first of all, let's see the merch. Now the merch has been promoting Galarian Ponyta for quite a while now. It has been showcased multiple times, so it was quite obvious that we are going to see it sooner or later. Few people speculated how this could lead to the debut of Bead, but looks like that's not the case and we haven't seen Bead or anything that suggests that he is going to appear in future. Recently on Christmas, we received a special preview. In that special preview, Chloe was seen riding a Galarian Rapidash while her Eevee was riding a Galarian Ponyta. Many people then thought that Chloe was going to catch either one of them. I mean it just makes sense. We know that Ash has a Galarian Farfetch'd, so it just made sense that either Go or Chloe would catch a Galarian Ponyta so that it can act as a counterpart to it. Go had a Cantonian Farfetch'd, so it was quite unlikely. However, with Chloe being here, it just makes sense and Galarian Ponyta just suits her overall I think. Next up we got the third version of the 123 opening and in that opening we saw Chloe petting a Galarian Ponyta further suggesting that she is actually going to catch it. Last but not the least we have this new summary. Although not complete, it gives us a brief idea of what episode 55 is going to be about. It's about Chloe and Eevee getting lost in Glimwood Tangle. And probably that Rapidash and Ponyta scene is from this episode. Chloe really hasn't got m that much screen time before recently. So, her getting a Galarian Ponyta would lead to just further development for her. Also, we got another special preview recently, giving us even further content. First of all, we have these three impedims, and they seem to have Chloe stuffed with them. So my guess is that these three impedims are the reason why Chloe and Evie got lost in Glimwood Tangle. Then we have this image of Ash in a night suit. Man, he looks good. Regardless, it's related to the Wickstorm episode that we are going to see in future, where Ash and Farfetch'd are going to take down Wickstorm. I'm really hyped for that episode as well. Then we have this weird scene of Gulpin flying? Huh? Whatever, this is probably related to the, the upcoming filler, I don't know. And then of course we have another scene of Sobble. Thanks to the recent summary we received, we now know that Sobble is going to get inspired by this Inteleon. This Inteleon belongs to a female spy, which is really interesting. I can't wait to see Sobble's development after this. We also received this scan where Go is basically in front of Suicune and just talking to him. A few people have speculated that Go is going to catch Suicune but I have mentioned this before that I don't think that's the case. Go is probably going to bond with him and it's going to be like the Zapdos episode where Suicune will eventually go away. Like many others, I personally think it's too early for Go to get a legendary. Like, don't get me wrong, I would love him to get one, but I think it should happen in the final season of Pokemon Journeys. That would kind of settle his development arc. And that's it. I have discussed the new information that has been revealed in Pokemon Journeys. What do you guys think about Chloe actually getting a Galarian Ponyta? What Pokemon would you give her personally? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are new to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.